how we can estimate the maximum likelihood estimator for the Bernoulli distribution. There is something we need to know before we can do this. We should note that the likelihood estimator is equal to the products. This sign means products ranging from 0 to n of that function. <coughs> and the solution to the estimator will be equal to the differential log of the likelihood estimator when it is equal to zero. So when we take the differential log of this, then we can now get the estimator for the Bernoulli distribution. We can even check if the estimator is actually an estimate. So let us start. What we do, we bring out this, which is the estimator for this. We are saying that this is the same function of the Bernoulli distribution. So what we do, we put the Bernoulli distribution here. We get something like this, theta x multiplied by 1 minus theta goes to the power of 1 minus x. So we we'll take the sum of this. But to me, like we said, this is the product. We we'll take the product of this. It will be something like this. Theta x 1 multiplied by 1 minus theta 1 minus x plus theta x2 1 minus theta 1 minus x2 plus if it continues this way we get something like this theta x raised to the power of n multiplied by 1 minus theta raised to the power of 1 minus x n so if you take the sum of all of this, you can write it out well. If you take the sum, you get something like this. The likelihood estimator, the likelihood estimator is really equal to theta raised to the power of summation of the x i multiplied by one minus theta raised to the power n minus summation of x n because this will come as a sum if you sum all the x i's and if you sum a constant you get a n if you sum a constant you get what n so we now take the law of this function we take the law because we said to get the product, we take the differential law of the likelihood function and put it to zero. So let's take the law first. The law of this likelihood function gives us the law of this function. This will come back. Law theta plus this will come down. Law <coughs> one minus theta. So this is it. What we now do is to take the differential of this logarithmic function we have looked for. So it means we take the differential, write it this way. The differential of the likelihood function. If we start to see that we give us, you differentiate this, you get xi all over theta. Because if you differentiate x in 2, you get x all over 2. 
So that is it. Plus, if you differentiate this, you get n minus summation of xi all over 1 minus theta. Multiply by, you differentiate this inside, you get minus 1. So it's equal to, okay, equating to 0. We have solution of x i all over theta because of this negative sign we're going to say to give us n minus summation of x i all over one minus theta is equal to zero. Of course in mathematics we take the LCM of this two. The LCM will give us this. Well, uh, this to multiply this to give us solution of x i 1 minus theta minus theta multiplied by n minus solution of x i okay. so this will go over here we can open this to give us solution of x i minus theta summation of x i minus n theta plus theta summation of x i which is equal to zero. Of course this can go like this to give you zero because minus one plus one is equal to zero. So we are left with this and this. Which means we can come here to finish it up. It means summation of xi minus n theta is equal to zero. Which means summation of xi is equal to n theta. So we can divide both sides. Theta over n is equal to summation of xi all over n. So this will cancel this many theta to be summation of xi all over n. Of course, we know that this is mu. So the maximum likelihood estimator for theta for this to be an estimator is equal to this. It's actually an estimate for the binomial distribution.